Hey, welcome back to Beating the Odds. It is Sunday, November 5th, 2023, and we are back with our NFL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Beating the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NFL videos every single day, along with the NBA, college football, and NHL. We're also going to have big winning years in college basketball and MLB. We're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first nine months on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap, um, Thursday's results in the NFL, we had a good day. Went two and one. Members only. Our members only play was the Steelers minus two and a half. That was a winner. Uh, should have been a much easier winner, by the way. George Pickens should have got that foot down. Um, and then Najee Harris, under 44 and a half rush yards, had his best game of the year. Tough loss there. And we had Deontay Johnson over four and a half catches. I told you to play up to five and a half. I think like seven or eight catches. So easy win there. No sweat, really. Overall for the year, 110 68, 31 and 14 on best bets. Fantastic winning percentage. And we have three picks I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube today. And then I have five members-only plays today that I absolutely love. We had a winning day in college football yesterday on members-only plays as well, including a best bet winner in K-State. But to get those members-only plays, you go to zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all of our members-only plays every single day, which are our most profitable best bets we have on a day-to-day -day basis. On top of that, you have a direct line to me. So any game you're considering betting, you reach out to our hotline number, get a guaranteed response back by any game you're considering betting. And on top of that, you also um, get all of our free picks that we do on YouTube sent to you before these videos come out. They take advantage of early lines and early odds. And the website is zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks. So we have three picks today here in the NFL today. Um, I'll start with our first play today, which is going to be the Raiders money line minus 122 versus the Giants. You could take them at minus one and a half here. I just don't want to get hooked if they end up winning by one. The reason I like the Raiders here is first off, the Giants are starting Tommy DeVito who's the worst quarterback in the NFL. He's also a third stringer, so he shouldn't be playing at all. He knows that. The coaching staff knows that. Raiders know that. All these people know that. And on top of that, with the Giants, Darren Waller's not going to play. They don't have any weapons other than Saquon Barkley. And the Raiders are really upgrading a quarterback by benching Jimmy G and putting in Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell will at least try to sling it. Jimmy G is just an embarrassment as a quarterback. That dude has no pocket awareness. And, God, the, the critics of Jimmy G when he was in San Francisco have been totally vindicated in, La, in, in Las Vegas. He is a bad quarterback that was propped up by, like, great players in San Francisco. You can see it here. Even with great players, the guy can't freaking play. On top of that, the Raiders have weapons. I mean, they have Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, um, Jacoby Myers. Um, you could also put uh, the new the, the tight end, the rookie tight end, Mayer, in there as well. Um, and the Giants don't have much of a pass rush after getting rid of Leonard Williams. And the Giants don't have, like I said, any weapons other than Saquon Barkley. I, I don't know how the Raiders are only one and a half point uh, favorite here. I'm going to take them on the money line, though, to win this game outright. I'm going to take them here. Love, love Raiders here in my line. Next, I'm taking over 41 in the Commanders and Patriots game. This game, I mean, this game is going to suck. Um, I'm, a, I'm a Commanders fan. One of my best friends is a Patriots fan. And honestly, we, we're both pretty much in agreement that whoever loses, the, loses this game is actually the one who wins it. But what I do know is this. The Redskins just trade away their entire defense. We lost. We, we got rid of Chase Young. Smart move. Get the third round pick. Got rid of Montez Sweat. Breaks my heart. But, you know, he was a great player. But second round pick for Chicago was like a first round pick in general. So not bad at all. The, and on top of that, the Patriots defense is also all banged up. I mean, they don't, they don't have the, – the Christian Gonzalez isn't playing. Um, what's it called? Matthew Juno is not going to be playing, what it doesn't look like. So they're going to have – both teams are going to be shorthanded on defense. Plus, the Redskins have one of the worst pass defenses in the face of the planet with, the, with a bad Mac Jones that's capable of having a good game here and there. That's going to be huge for him. On top of that, Sam Howell can sling it all over the yard. He's not the answer, like, for our team if we want to go out and win a Super Bowl, but he is a pretty solid quarterback. Um, and the, Red, the Redskins have weapons. I mean, McLaurin, Dotson, Logan Thomas, Brian Robinson's a good back. They have they have good players, and with a defense that's banged up with, with the Patriots and a defense that just got rid of all its good players almost, uh, the Redskins, this game should go way over 41. I'm not really sure why this number is so low. I'm going to roll the over 41, 41 here in Commanders and Patriots. And then that same van, take the over 41 as well in the Bears and the Saints. Bears don't have a defense whatsoever. They just don't. Um, the Saints will go up and down the field on them with ease, especially at home. And the Bears have shown they can move the ball. They moved the ball well against the Chargers. They just didn't punch it in because they went for every fourth down and missed every single fourth down. And the, 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 the Bears have some weapons. I mean, DJ Moore is a good player. Um, they have um, – Cleo Herbert's not going to be playing. But, like, they've got some good guys here. And the Saints have all the weapons in the world. Michael Thomas and Chris Olave and 
and Alvin Kamara and all these dudes. And Derek Carr plays like he did against Indy. That this this game should go way way over here, especially with how bad the Bears defense is. I know they got Montez Sweat, but they're not very good. So I'm gonna be over 41 here in Bears and Saints. Now, like I said, we do have five members only plays in the NFL. They get the zdmbets.com slash picks. Website link in the comments below. But a quick recap: what we have. We have Raiders money line uh, versus the Giants. We have over 41 in the Commanders Patriots and over 41 in Bears and Saints. So guys, go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you watch those other videos.